What is up guys, my name is Max Lord Football. welcome back again to another video, and today I know you came here for the Christian Press interview after the post-match of Royals versus Houston, where a lot of controversy has just recently gone down between Christian Press and the Houston fans, and a lot of people were booing her every single time she touched the ball, or even just got near it, and the Dash made a defensive mistake, and she capitalized on that, scoring the goal, allowing them to eventually overcome them by the score of 2-1, and yeah, let me know your thoughts down below on the situation about Press getting booed, and I actually got this video from Soccer Matters on their Facebook page, so all credit goes to them through this interview, and I really think that Christian Press is such a sweet and a nice, amazing class act person. She doesn't really deserve to be treated by this by the Houston fans. It was her decision not to play there, but let me know down below what you think in that, and I'll be showing you the goal that she scored on here, as well as a post-match interview on some questions regarding the situation and everything. And this is pre-recorded on the 6th, and I'm uploading this a bit later, so... Yeah, let me know down below everything on the situation in your opinions. I'd like to hear what you have to say on this, and I do side with Christian Press on this one. I do believe that the fans shouldn't have been so rude to her. But, nevertheless, enjoy the video, and let me know your thoughts down below once again. It's all important, I think. You know, going into the game, in my mind, we have to win out. We have to win eight games and win the title. So I think that's the mindset of the team. And the first game, I felt like was the hardest. Um, we need a little momentum. We need a little self-belief, and that's what this game was. After you scored, can you tell them about your goal? The ball just happened to appear at your feet. <laughs> yeah, it, I, it was. It was a very fortunate series of events for me, um, just trying to stay plugged in defensively, and the ball ended up right where, it, right where the team needed it, honestly. And it was a hard goal, and it was just there anymore. you feel like your goal shifted the momentum of the game into you know, your favor? I, I do. I think it did. To be perfectly frank, we didn't create a lot of shots on goal, although I felt like we had the run of play the entire game, um, we were not dangerous. And so I think that towards the end of the game that starts to wear on your team you're down if you're not creating chances. It's a different feeling chasing a game back when you're peppering the other team with shots, but we weren't in that position. And so, you know, once we tied 1-1, then they started attacking, we started attacking, and I don't know what the stats are on the game, but I'm pretty sure all of our shots came after that. The game just opened up and we were actually able to to not just possess in the midfield, but get it behind their defense and create chances. How are you doing along with this team? Are you kind of joining them after the season more? How are you feeling? Are you feeling more comfortable with them? You know, I think it's been harder than I even expected. Change is always hard, but I, I believe that it's harder in your mind than it is in, in actuality. And um, I feel like I wanted to come to Utah for so long, and so I never even saw what it would like be like when I got there, if that makes sense. Um, and it has been challenging just tactically, understanding what the team's trying to do, um, and knowing the personalities on the field. As an attacking player, the biggest advantage that you have is knowing what your teammates are going to do before the defenders do. And I don't feel like I'm in that position still. Um, and I'm learning every game, but it's still been a disjointed time that I've been with the team. I've been gone for three weeks now. I come back, I think I'm only in Utah for 10 days before we go on a long road trip and then hopefully another camp. So it's been a disjointed year and I think with that, um, you've got to treasure all the time we have together and I'm going to make a huge effort to get to know these players and invest in them and hopefully they do the same. Kristen, where do you think, where do you see your standing with the national team ahead of the World Cup next year? You know, I don't really think that way. I think that that's kind of the thought process of the coach of trying to figure out who she's going to use. I think for me, it's it's just every day trying to enjoy playing the game that I love, trying to be at my best, um, trying to find my form. And I think if I look back on the year, it hasn't necessarily been an easy one. Um, I've played on two different teams, different countries, been coming in and out of um, international play, and I feel like I haven't found that that ease where you, when you shoot you know it's going to score and that's what as a forward I'm like looking to do. I'm looking to have that feeling uh, getting in the zone or getting in form and I think once I find that I will be able to um, have that feeling in the national team. You were able to speak to some fans, you gave away some shoes, can you elaborate on maybe what's some of the feedback of the fans after the game? The fans were very kind after the game. <laughs> I think I don't know why, honestly, but I think there was still a few, a few fans. I saw a few 
Preston jersey, so that was nice. And then, um, can you elaborate, just uh, a lot of fans in Houston, uh, maybe what happened with situation where you didn't end up here, and just elaborate on why that move never finalized. On, what's the end? on the move to uh, Houston at the beginning of the season, why that never finalized for you? Yeah, you know, I am very sorry for all to tell the fans that I disappointed. I was happy that I was able to be at this game and play for them. Um, and, you know, I love to play this game and I love to show it, share that joy with as many people as I can, including all the wonderful fans in Houston. So, thanks for the hospitality. Did you feel like the goal for maybe, you know, put you on to kind of start scoring more goals and everything the goal kind of set you off? I have no idea. I also don't think like that either. I think there are types of goals that I do enjoy scoring more, and I, ha I ha haven't scored a goal like that in a while. And, I and I'm waiting for that, and I'm being patient because I know that goals come in waves. Um, but I want to score a finish that feels like that's who I am as a player. Um, and I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet for the Royals. So, still in the future, and I'm still hopeful. Yeah. I feel the world is all against me. I feel the world is all against me. I know that people gonna hate me. I'm just gonna keep doing my own.